Another ring, second ring today. Unbelievable. All right, new day, new beach. We're gonna hit a brand new beach. Haven't been here in a right good while. And it's uh, been after July 4th and a lot of vacationers have been here, I know. So let's give it a shot, see what we can do. I, um, it's a little rough out there, so I don't know if we'll be getting in the water too much tonight. We'll have to check the waves out when we get there. All right, here we go. Oh, we just arrived, and it's a little bit uh, rough out there. I'm not sure how far we'll go out, but I do have our first signal here. Let me find it again. Here it is. 49. I like that. Just coming on the beach. Uh oh Let's pick that. All right, coming on the beach. 29. I like it. Right to start with. Hadn't even got to the water yet. I'm just heading that direction. All right, it's out. I hear it. Got to be a, yeah, I see. It's a quarter, but how old is it? Let's see if it's a fresh drop. That's a pretty fresh drop right there. No corrosion on it, so. I like finding old, old stuff. That way you know you're getting down to some old material. But anyway, that's a good start. Let's do it. All right, I like what I'm seeing in the basket. Check it out. We got us a ring. Awesome. It looks like it's got a butterfly, eagle, or something on it right there. That's awesome. Let's go shoot buddy. Buddy. I think I got a ring. Oh boy. Hey. What do you think, man? Wow. Awesome. I think it's an eagle, a butterfly. Maybe that's a butterfly on it. Nice. I like it so far. Alright, let's put it up. We'll check it out when we get home. I don't know if it's real or not at this point, but I don't see any corrosion whatsoever on it. It's either really fresh drop or real. Awesome. Let's keep getting up. Alright, buddy and I are debating hard on whether we should go in the water or not. It looks like it's going to be neck deep out there, and we might get beat to death too bad. So I think we're going to have to hold off on that for right now, and uh, just hunt the beach side here. Buddy's up on the, up there digging, uh, digging on the sand. Getting a few targets, nothing great, but we'll definitely get some targets, and uh, we're going to keep trying. Here we go. Oh my God, look what I got. Another ring, second ring today. Unbelievable. I don't know if it's real or not, but it's sure looking pretty, I tell you that. Woo! Alright, let's bag it up and we'll check it out when we get home. Oh my god. Alright, I'm pretty happy with two rings probably. They were both in the one was 17, that was 22, I think. So I got a feeling they're not gonna be real. But this one right here, I don't know what it is yet. Well it's jumping on me now. Well I thought it was staying around 12, 13, but now it's like it might be jumping on me. Not sure what's going on with that. Alright, let's get this up here and see what we got. Not in that. Uh oh, not in that. Uh oh, did we lose it? I hope not. Okay. I might actually just take another scoop out of here. Just for the heck of it. See if we went deeper. And I didn't get it. Sometimes it happens. Not this time. Whoa, wait a minute. Oh, that's not good. Oh, it's in here. But it's a pop top. Oh, man. Sometimes they'll do a come and go away. Depending on what angle they're at. The sideways, you might hear it. You might hear it. So, it's a pop top. Man, okay. Let's keep getting up. All right, buddy ran across him. A little coin spill here. And he's pulled out. How many coins you pulled out, buddy? This is number six. Six coins. Oh, it's a quarter, too, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, nice, man. Buddy's got a whole bunch of coins down in that container. All right, he's still pulling coins out. Number seven. Nice. All right, you know, we talk about this a lot. You know, you get a hit, you got to keep checking because they usually spill more than one coin a lot of times, so always keep checking. I hear it, buddy. I hear there's another one in there. I think you got another one. Number eight. All right, we'll sit around here for a minute, see if buddy's got any more. Awesome. Coin spill. We like them. Buddy, what you got, buddy? But I hit him a nice little earring here, and it could be gold. It looks pretty enough to be gold, and it's kind of got that design on it, buddy. I like how it sets right there with those two on it. Let's see if we see anything on the back of this thing. All right, I'm not seeing anything right now, but there's no tarnish on it whatsoever. It could be on the side here. All right, we'll check it out when we get home. I don't know what kind of fish this is. I know a lot of fish. I've done a lot of fishing before, but... I don't know what it is though. Look at the plates on it. No scales. It's got plates all over it. That's crazy. 
does not have scales. Very hard scoop plate. That's crazy. I'm not sure what kind it is. We'll have to look that up and see what that is. Alright, this guy is really interesting. He's still got me going here. And I actually took one of his plates off. Look at the size of that thing. That thing is hard as a rock. That is cool right there, man. That is a cool thing. And boy, I hate to get hit by that. He will cut you up. I'm... All right, buddy, it was awful quiet over here, and he had a smile on his face, so I knew he had something. Look at this. He got him a nice little ring. That's a sterling silver. Almost guaranteed that sterling silver right there. Nice one. Good job, buddy. Put it there, brother. I like it. Boy, we're hitting the rings today. Awesome. All right, let's keep going. All right, I'm out here cleaning these plates that came off that fish off. Now, I changed my mind. I think it's a sturgeon now. I've heard that sturgeons have these type of plates on them, too, so... Anyway, we're going to find out when we get home. We'll look them up and check it out, but I'm thinking sturgeon now. Isn't that awesome? Right there? I like it. All right, we got a little sight find. A dice on number three. Does that mean anything? I need a few more to play the lottery, but uh, we might start with three. That's a lucky number, maybe. All right, let's bag it up. All right, I have to say, me and Buddy have done pretty good so far. How about Buddy? That's been good. Buddy's got a, a quarter thing full of coins. He's, I think he's got one silver ring. I know I got one silver ring. I checked in the car. And it saw 925 on that one. Awesome. The other one, I cannot find any markings on it. Uh, the one with a little angel on the front looks like. Maybe Tinkerbell, I don't know. But anyway, I can't see any markings on it, but it's no deterioration on it, so it has got to be a recent loss if it is, in fact, not gold. Which it probably is not, because I don't see a bold 10K or 14K on it. What do you think? Are you going to hit it up some more? Yeah, let's do some more. All right, here we go. We're going to do it again. Here we go. Oh, I've got a pretty decent number here. 10. 9, 10, 9, 10. Consistent, too. It could be a, a beer top for sure. When they get rusted all up, sometimes they'll still read a low number like that. But gold will read that, too. Though. All right, we got it out, whatever it is. I would guess a beer top, though, if I had to guess. Well, I said we got it out. Maybe we did. Oh, it's out right here. Oh, man, a piece of trash. Can you believe that? Piece of aluminum. Oh, man. All right. Well, not this time. I wasn't planning on coming out here in the water like this, but a guy just told us that he lost his ring out here, and so I'm out here trying to find it. He actually left, he just told us from where it was at when he was leaving, so I don't know the exact spot, so that kind of hurts a little bit, but I'm out here just looking in the water right now for it. I don't know if we'll ever find it, but we're gonna try for a little bit anyway. All right, buddy, I'm gonna call that a day. What do you think, buddy? Yeah, it's been a long day. Uh, we just had a guy stop us, said he lost his uh, gold ring in the water, but he left and didn't come down here and really show us where it was at. So I looked around for a while, I wasn't get beneath where, but I dove in and tried to find it, but I could not find it. We knew the exact location. I, I think we could have got it. Yeah. I think we definitely could have got it. But anyway, maybe we'll come back here again and look again one day. We got his phone number and name, so we know who they had to get up with him. All right, stay tuned. We'll go home and check everything out. Here we go. Well, Buddy and I had a great day today. We both got sterling silver. I tell you what, let's check out Buddy's stuff first right here. Let's check it out. Old Buddy had $3.30 in clad. He had a nice little pendant here. I wasn't any markings on it. A nice little silver ring and a sterling silver uh, earring. Pretty cool. Good job, Buddy. Congrats on your finds, Buddy. That gold is waiting for us, and we're going to get it. All right, I'm going to talk about a lot of things here that I found today. And if y'all saw that fish, this is going to be interesting on that fish. Wait till you hear about that one. Uh, but let's go ahead and go over everything right now. Here we go. I'm going to hold off while I tell you about these right here because these are cool. And I'm going to tell you about those in just a minute. So stay tuned. All right, we got beer tops, pop tops right there. Uh, got one little car here, and a lighter. Buddy found a cool lighter. But uh, we got lead. Little gray matter here. Got one still in the package. Somebody got that, bought that one, and never used it. Still in the uh, package right there. That's pretty cool. But anyway, we've got almost enough to make another diving weight. Uh, got one dice that's sitting on there with three. I said to myself, that means I'm going to get a third ring and it's going to be gold. That's what that means. But that didn't happen. We got two rings. We'll talk about it in just a minute, though. And two nice rings. I'll show you in just a second. We got some clad. I need to look how much. One, two, Three or four dollars in clad, maybe. That's not too bad. Uh, got two beautiful rings right here. This is a sterling silver. I'll try to put a picture up there on. Man, that is a nice one. 
It's got 925 written right in it. Sterling silver. That's nice right there. I like that one. That was going to clean up really nice. I got this. I thought it could be gold. I think it's Tinkerbell. I'm not sure. But uh, it looks really nice. It's got a little bit of gold running through it right there. But I tested it. I did a scratch test for gold, and it did not pass. So I'm assuming that one is a junk ring. I don't know for a fact that it because I don't see a single bit of tarnish anywhere on it. So it had to have been freshly, freshly lost right there. That's pretty cool. All right, we're going to talk about the uh, that fish I showed you did on the beach. Never seen one before like that on the beach. I see a lot of dead fish on the beach all the time. At first I said maybe a tarpon, but then I remember tarpon had these big silver dollar scales on them. Not like that thing had on it. Then I started thinking about sturgeon, and that's what it is, is a sturgeon. You don't see ever see them. Um, back in the day, now, during the colonial times, they were plentiful. In fact, they've recovered at Jamestown, they've recovered over 21,000 of these things I'm getting ready to show you right now. And uh, they, they were everywhere. The colonists would even write about how many they were, and they ate them like crazy. But let's check them out right now. Yeah, these guys right here, these scoots, they call them, line that fish for protection. And, um, and look at that. These things are like razors. Like a needle right there. I'd hate to get hit by one of them fish on the side or something. He would tear you up. But this fish actually lived back during the Triassic period. It has survived since the dinosaurs. This thing has been around forever. I'll put a picture of one up right here. A guy holding one. It's, it's a wicked looking fish to start with. Uh, but uh, they, they've been around a long time. And I'll put another picture up right here showing the plates. That, uh, that they look just like this. You can look at them and show, see that that's exactly what it is. And of course, they're the ones that they find at Jamestown too. Just like that's why they last. They're like a bone and they last. So that's why you see so many of them. But anyway, that's pretty cool. Saw a sturgeon today on the beach. That's crazy. All right, well, I appreciate everybody coming along on this adventure. Please click like, comment below, share, and subscribe to the Gig Master. All right, thanks for coming along.